Okay, we gotta take this tarp off. You ready? One of the most common questions I get about my boat is how much did it cost me to build? And I had a pretty good idea of how much it cost. Um, so I'd always throw kind of a ballpark figure out there, but I never sat down and actually counted up the receipts and figured out exactly how much this thing cost me to build. So I finally did that this week and I was pleasantly surprised. It turns out I was actually overestimating the cost of, of what it took me to build this thing. So in this video, I'm gonna take the time to break it down piece by piece and tell you exactly what this thing cost me to build. And one thing I want you to remember is that the price that I give, the, the cost to build this thing includes the motor, the trailer, and the marine mat, which were, those were the three most costly pieces. So the very first cost that I occurred on this thing was the plywood. And, uh, and that was a pretty big purchase. It required six sheets of marine grade plywood. I used Akume. Uh, it was from Joe Bear. So it was pretty good uh, top of the line plywood and six sheets cost me $500. It was $500 and 70 cents to be exact. So the next thing on my list was the fiberglass cloth. This stuff cost me $71.50. I also had to buy some fiberglass tape is what they called it. It's just some uh, like three or four inch strips of fiberglass that I use to kind of tape seams together and it cost me $20. All right, I had to start out with a one and a half gallon kit of marine epoxy that cost $98.25. And then I had to go back and buy three quarts of epoxy because I ran out. And that three quart kit cost me $46.92. Uh, then there was a bag of pine wood flour. The wood flour was used to just thicken the epoxy. And the wood flour cost $11. Now, of course, the grab rail was a fairly big piece and I bought it from Boat Builder Central. And it cost me $315. Now that was also, there was an upcharge for adding this rod holder here. The paint that I used, this aquamarine color here, it was it was pretty quality paint. I wanted to use some quality stuff to make sure I got that that uh, real glossy look, and it cost two hundred and forty one dollars and seventy three cents. The quick fare, that's the the putty stuff that I used to spread all over the boat and sand it down, make it nice and smooth, get that nice clean finish. The quick fare cost me forty eight dollars and fifty cents. Now this hole in here, underneath the deck right here, this whole thing is filled with buoyancy foam. I ended up using two kits, which I think comes out to be four gallons of buoyancy foam. And it cost me $230 for the foam. My boat motor, let's go take a look in here. It's pretty dark here in storage, but I wanted to show you the motor that I got. It's a, an eight horse Tahatsu. This is a 2021 model. It cost me $1,857.99. So that was by far the biggest purchase of the whole project. The next thing on the list is my boat trailer. It's one of the McLean trailers that you can buy from Academy. And at the time it cost me $699.99. So $700 for the trailer. My Marine mat cost me $640. The hatch cost $34.99, so $35. The stickers, the whole stickers here, cost $18.95. The bow eye, that little guy right there,
Now, if you're thinking about building a boat like this, one thing to keep in mind is that the price of everything in the world has gone up, including boat building supplies. I know for Yay. sure that the plywood has gone way up. I know that the paint has gone way up, the trailer, everything's just about doubled. So to build this same boat today would cost you, careful bud, would cost you a little bit more. Now with that said, if you're looking for a boat to get out on the water, this is still just about the most economical way of doing it uh, because of course the price of boats has gone way up too. So now that I've had this boat for several months and had the chance to take it out a few times, I've definitely learned some things that I would have done different had I built it today. Uh, so that'll be the next video. I wanna show y'all some of the things that I would change about this boat in case y'all are getting ready to build one. Um, there's some pretty major issues that I discovered with even the design of this boat that I need to talk about. Um, but that'll be the next video, so stick around for that. Until then, y'all have a great week, and I'll see you next time.